Bill Ingram for Hoops World TV here with John Lucas, longtime NBA coach, player, G, you know, you've, you've done a little bit of everything, but now one of the names involved in uh, helping kids get ready for the NBA draft. And talk about who you've had in here and who's impressed you so far. Well, you know, we've had a lot of guys. We've got about 16 guys that are here for the draft, and it's been really good. Um, John Henson is really playing well. He can do a lot more things than be a post-up guy. His quickness, his length, uh, can shoot the ball with range. I was pleasantly surprised he's going to be a nice stretch four uh, with a lot of athleticism. Still got some work to do. He'll be good. Also, I like Will Barden a lot. Will Barden really got a big time motor and really does a lot of things fluently on the court. Got to get stronger, but that'll come in time. Another guy that's really done well has been Chris Milton. Chris Milton has really, really played well. Done a lot of things, and I think his stock will rise as Will will rise. We have another kid, Torrey Murray from Wichita State, that's done very, very well. Uh, Kenny Freeze, a big out of Xavier, can really pop and pick, got great size. I think he'll be a second round pick, nice guy for a second round. And then there's a surprise here named Darren, Darren Jones out of Ball State. He's really athletic. Been here almost two and a half months preparing for this, so he's done well. So is Herb Pope. Herb's got to get in better shape, but he really knows how to play. So we've had, we've had that along with Tyshawn Taylor who I absolutely love as a guard. Uh, he is, uh, he has the speed of a, of a Ty Lawson and just bigger and stronger and more physical. So I'm really pleased that our draft picks, some of the guys that we have, Ramon Moore is also here. And Darius Miller, uh, Quincy, uh, Darius Miller, the guy from Baylor, Quincy Miller, which Miller from Baylor is going to really be good. I think it's Quincy Miller, and I think he can really spread the floor, do a lot of things. His knee, his rest of his game looks healthy. He, he, he's really played well. What's the most important thing to convey to these guys as they're preparing to go work out for NBA GMs, you know, the situation you've been on the other side of the table? They have no idea what it takes to make it. The workload that they have. This is a six-hour day deal at this camp. A lot of guys kind of shun from us because we do a lot of live work. A lot of weight training. We've added yoga. We do a lot of things, but you got to be able to compete because, like, for 45 minutes, you're fighting for your life. So if you're not used to competing, it's hard to go turn it on to turn it off. Do they hear that message? I mean, did, did, did they, does it start to sink in when they've been in this gym a little bit? Well, I guess so. I get a little tickle when people say, "Well, I don't want to get hurt now because I'm here," and I'm saying, "You got to this point. You weren't worried about getting hurt." So what makes you think you're going to get hurt? Some things are just happen to happen. But you got to be able to shoot the ball, and you got to be able to do one thing better than you do the rest of the thing. If that's defense, then you got to guard. If that's rebound, you got to rebound. If it's scoring, you got to score. But uh, we try to really push them on knowing the things that I think you got to do. Be able to play pick and roll if you're a guard. Got to be able to post up if you're inside, rebound outside your range, and then be able to play out of triangles on the weak side. So how do you decide who you're going to invite to come here, or how, do, how does it come about that guys, you know, wind up coming to work with you here? Ironically, we, we get people come on their own. Hmm. You know, uh, we do a little recruiting, but not a lot. John Henson I've known forever. Hmm. And last year we had five guys from our camp, not saying that we were totally responsible. Their talent did it, and their agents. We had five guys go in the lottery. Hmm. So, you know, that's pretty good. And then two other ones go in the first round. And a lot of those guys have already been back because their season ended. Hmm. 